Hello, in this video uh, I'm going to record and document um, how I went about modding my uh, Drevo Grammar keyboard. So this is a 75% layout keyboard. As you can see it's got its normal keys but this one has got the function keys, the arrow keys and a few extra keys on the side. I really like this form factor. Um, this keyboard here also comes with the numpad embedded in it. So if uh, you know they do need the numpad and stuff like that but I usually depend on the number roll here anyway so that's perfectly fine for me okay uh, this one comes with a cherry brown switch and it comes with individual LED lights um, attached on it per key so uh, let's just do a quick typing test on this one So for this keyboard, what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically replace the switches with this one here. So it's the Gateron uh, clear switches, right? So these are 35 gram switches that we can actually work with to make the key press a lot lighter. And um, I've got a couple of different switches on at the moment. I've, I think the one that I'm using right now is a uh, Gateron yellow. So I do really like that one, but I wanted to try something slightly lighter. And because this keyboard, um, I really wanted to mod it for a while. So I just was waiting for the switches, so now that this that's here, we can actually get started on this one. Okay, all the switches are now off the keyboard. Uh, what I've also done is I've separated the gate room clears. So I've got the housing here, stem and the spring in there. And what I'm going to do is basically I'm going to loop them all. And okay, just to do a switch comparison. So this is the switch that came off the board okay so as you can see here if I pr gently press it it takes a slight amount of force to go in because I think this is a 55 or a 65G um, spring okay and also it comes with a um, switch mounted LED okay so now if we look at if we look at this one okay so this is the gate run clear so all you have to do is just gently press it and then it actually actuates straight away okay and this one actually works with the um, LED and you can also put the other um, lights in there I suppose well I'm gonna try a little bit just in case but uh, let's hope it actually works out so the next bit I'm gonna do now is just to basically um, loop all of these um, I'm spray painting the plate so um, hopefully once that is dry I can start putting them inside of it and also I need to fix the stabilizer as well. Alright so I mounted the switches onto the plate uh, these are the gate from clears so if you want to hit it very quiet um, I've lubed them and they've been placed onto the uh, plate now and here's the PCB so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to try and solder the uh, switches onto the PCB first test it out and then I will um, put the LED lights inside of it so I would really want to make sure like you know I'm doing it right so uh, the desoldering process was actually quite quick uh, this time around because I did get some experience from the last board that I did so I'm going to try and solder this on uh, one of the other things that I did is if you notice that this plate used to be black and I've spray painted it white because uh, this, the keycaps I'm going to use is similar to this one these are the XDA profile ones so they don't have a uh, double shot so then the light doesn't really come through it so what's going to happen is um, I've spray painted it white so actually right reflects through the side of the uh, switches Okay, all the switches are now soldered on and what I also done is I put the LEDs on individually on top of the switches as well. So right now the 
keyboard actually works as intended. So uh, now comes the fun part where I get to put the keycaps on. Okay, here it is. Uh, the keyboard is all finished now. Um, so basically, I've uh, managed to get all the keycaps on, and the lights actually look really nice. Um, I think the white plate makes it a lot visible um, because it reflects off that from underneath. Okay, all right, let's just do a quick typing test on this one. Hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you on the next one.